the private advisor. Okay? And Pastula was the deputy prime minister. Okay, then Coach Holdings uh, CEO came to visit the airport and said that, look, you become the government, we never ever had any uh, government contract. And I said, how on earth, you know, you're the richest uh, holding in Turkey, why you are not getting it? He said that next time, if there's a contract is uh, available, then if there's a competition, just let me know. Then, after he visits his end, Erbak asked his assistant, can you search why? And they found that until the Arabic government, Coach Holding never ever entered any competition in order to get the government contract. He just sent an invoice to the government. In other words, contract giving him without any competition, without any requirement, without any deposit. Okay, then he just sent an invoice. What about you written that? Is it right? And that is the people, you know, they blame everybody in Turkey. Okay, thank you. Sorry it takes long. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <coughs> Just think, uh, to add Mr. Chenar, the Lab Woman case, it's a specific thing, and one, I think, in Poland is not a highly known issue, and a special seat like this should be arranged and all dimension of this issue and all movements should be discussed, I think, to add. As for your question, uh, I just, uh, my comments on future of Turkey-EU relations, it was on public uh, base and rhetoric analysis sort of uh, <coughs> AK and uh, just a sort of analysis of Turkish media. Um, I think uh, now that in Turkey, Justice and Development Party just speaks about constitution, Kurdish problem, Armenian question in international relations. I'm not. I don't think that they'll put EU away. Without EU, Turkey or just AK Party is not going to get support in terms of constitution. But in Turkey itself, I think there is a big question. There is among the elites, there is not a still consensus. They don't know what awaits in future. It's one question. And what makes the situation more paradoxical, in Europe, still there is not a consensus. What is, what is waiting in Turkey? Mr. Shimanski told that France and Germany is opposite, it's okay, but what is Spain and UK? But, you know, it's a very discussable theme that e UK's role in e European Union or Spain's role, Spain itself is still just waiting for EU, you know, support in terms of economics. So, I think the situation is really complicated and both sides, they don't know and they'll just do that, wait and see what we'll do. But it doesn't mean that for Turkish foreign policy, they'll put aside EU issue. No, they'll use it rhetorically in, in terms of political discourse. They'll use, but as I told you, it's just degrading. And EU is not a utopia, both for Turkish politicians and both for Turkish people. That's it. Okay, thank you. Just to add uh, one, one, one comment when it comes to uh, Turkey relations, it is, of course, it is so that when it comes to foreign policy, generally, within the foreign policy, generally, it is not, you know, now there are some changes uh, because of a new doctrine uh, of the strategic depth implemented, uh, but still, I agree that, that EU is still uh, on agenda and uh, we cannot create such a you know, impression that it is some, it is, uh, you know, uh, putting on the shelf, you know, that uh, there is uh, now, before the elections there were talks between Erdogan and, and Barroso, uh, and uh, Erdogan will be in Brussels after elections. Uh, so, if, uh, at least when it comes to, you know, the, the whole process, the accession process, it will, it will continue. But coming to, 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 to the question uh, you asked, um, 
No, can, 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 I, can, I, can I start your question? I just the one information that the, the Turkey now, before the election, they set up new ministerial ships. It's called yeah. European ministerial yeah. ships. Until that time, there's a one minister, Secretary of State for European Unions. Now it's become the ministerial ship. They promote it. So that is genuine desire of the Afghan government that they are going to yeah. keep European Union ships. Yeah, but my, my opinion is that it would not change a lot. It's just, but, but still, you know, uh, it doesn't change uh, the fact that, that this relations will, will continue. Uh, okay, but when it comes to the question about the, uh, how much liberal will be the constitution, what about the Kurdish question? And we must realize that the Kurdish question is not only the question of, you know, of giving some rights, uh, political, cultural rights. It's a big question, uh, problem, multi-dimensional problem. It is, it is very difficult to, you know, to uh, for, for many people also on the EU side to, to I mean, when it comes to the uh, European Commission, the officials uh, to, to, to understand this because this uh, political problem of this rights given to, to the Kurdish community, but also this economic problem. Uh, it is not only Turkish problem itself because it has also a regional dimension with, uh, connected with uh, neighboring countries, etc. Uh, and uh, when it comes to um, uh, the period between I mean, the last uh, government uh, of AKP before elections, uh, there was this you know talk about the democratic opening connected with the Kurdish issue then. Uh, actually, nothing uh, uh, or not a lot has happened uh, afterwards. Uh, of course, apart from some uh, for, for some reforms, as uh, uh, you know, even before, for example, the opening of, of a channel uh, uh, in Kurdish uh, um, when it comes to public public television, etc. Of course, um, and this is the question: What now after the elections? Uh, if, uh, there are opinions that, that is, the crucial will be uh, the position of uh, actually of the, uh, not of uh, the main parties, but uh, the position of uh, this, uh, you know of people supported. I mean politicians which are which will be uh, representatives of uh, peace and democracy party. Uh, but still, as, as you mentioned in your in your question, in your question, this is. Uh, in, uh, when you talk about the kind of consensus on, on the new constitution, uh, I think it will it will be still, uh, you know, uh, some kind of uh, challenge because um, on the one hand we have, for example, MHP, which already said, I mean, actually in interview with me, we had said that, uh, uh, said, you know, but actually there are, there are as, I, as I said before, there are some red lines. The first one is connected with this mentioned the first articles uh, of the constitution, but also he mentioned this uh, autonomy you know, uh, um, when it comes to the Kurdish uh, region, and he said that we not support something like uh, from the beginning uh, when it comes to, 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 to the reforms. Uh, but I think uh, apart from, I don't have much time, I, will, I can talk about all parties and some problems when they were positioned on it. But on the other hand, I think it is the problem of, no, it's not the problem, uh, apart from this multidimensionality uh, uh, problem, the Kurdish issue is also connected uh, with, uh, you know, with, uh, the question of model of society, but also with some uh, way of thinking and uh, democratic culture. So things very difficult to change uh, so fast. Uh, it can be changed in a long uh, perspective only. Uh, what I mean, uh, of course, what matters is uh, the position of the society of the issue. And uh, even if, uh, for example, AKP uh, has, uh, uh, apart from uh, um, election campaign rhetoric, which was uh, not much in favor of, of uh, Kurdish reforms, uh, because it was a more nationalist. Uh, uh, rhetoric, but still election, election campaign and at the time after the election is something else. Um, but uh, it must be taken into consideration, but also when it comes to way of thinking of society, 
uh, there are some uh, obstacles here still uh, because the process also of some development of democratic culture uh, connected with the model of society. What I mean, for example, uh, the um, uh, public, uh, public opinion survey made by one of uh, uh, opinion uh, polls company in Turkey, Metropol, which actually was the, the company which uh, predicted uh, the best results of, of, of elections. But they did in uh, April this year a um, uh, survey about democratic uh, issue in Turkey. And uh, what are the results? For example, one issue very important is also when we talk about the Kurdish issues is with 10% threshold. This is the, this is the, uh, the reason why uh, the Kurdish party uh, doesn't take part in elections as a party. I mean, they, uh, the representatives resign from the party, but they start they take part in elections as independent candidates. But when 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 people in Turkey ask about it, what is the result? Uh, about 20, 20 uh, about sorry, about 55, uh, 51 percent or something like that. Uh, they are still, uh, you know, f uh, are not in favor of of of, uh, of changing over 10 percent threshold. Uh, the other question uh, was, uh, what do you think, do you agree that it is a good idea to create a party based on the eth ethnic base? Again, it is uh, about uh, the half of uh, the question people say it is not a good idea. So, uh, from this point of view, it is, uh, apart from all issues connected with, of course, with, uh, you know, uh, with uh, the relations between parties and the, their, their will to, or, or lack of will to, to uh, to um, uh, to conduct reforms in, uh, uh, in this area, it is important that politicians take part, uh, take into consideration uh, the opinion of, of a society. Here is also the problem: the issues which uh, are very sensitive and it's not uh, not 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 so easy from for, for the governing party always to do. It's also the reason why it was not so uh, you know easy to. Uh, Conduct with this reform with a democratic opening before before the elections, especially right before uh, and a, a few months of a year before the elections, because all everything must, must be taken into into consideration. Just the last thing, uh, when it comes to liberal constitu uh, uh, constitution, uh, there is one thing which was not mentioned here, which I think is important when it comes to. Uh, to the whole picture, to, 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 to show the whole picture. There is also this discussion about, uh, you know, the introduction of the presidential system in Turkey and the ideas, uh, and uh, this question is connected to uh, the question of if, also, of course, both in Turkey, but also this is this opinion presented before the elections by, uh, you know, some uh, journalists, uh, newspapers in, uh, in Western countries, which was also which, which uh, you know, was connected with some harsh reaction uh, in Turkey very often. Uh, I mean, they should, if uh, Erdogan's party uh, will go in this democratic direction, or actually it will, it will go in, uh, in different direction um, and uh, will bring some elements of authoritarian regime in, in the system, which is connected with, with many issues. I don't, I don't have time to. to Elaborate on it, but it's connected with, uh, you know, uh, also in, during the election campaign, it, it was it was noticeable uh, with the question if this freedom of speech has some limits or not, and the opinion of the ones so on, on it, the question of uh, you know of, uh, some uh, changes when it comes to use of internet, when it comes to uh, also other other things. So uh, just to reiterate, third question. Are they able to prevail with uh, AKP, the Kurds, or no? And, uh, according to you, you think they will uh, take part to create a new constitution, the Kurds? You know, if, uh, I think it will be if, uh, very, very difficult because of uh, it is not impossible at all, but uh, but uh, it will be very difficult uh, also because of uh, already. Uh, present position of, of, of uh, these deputies, for example, Leila uh, uh, Zana says uh, uh, it will be harsh, but uh, tough, harsh fight for, for the new constitution. So, 